the Saudi royal family's trillion dollar wealth. The House of Saud, the ruling family of Saudi Arabia, is one of the wealthiest families in the world. Saudi Arabia does not want to acquire any nuclear bomb. With an estimated total wealth of $1.4 trillion. This makes them 16 times wealthier than the British monarchy and also the richest families among all monarchs in the world. But where does all this wealth come from and where is it spent? Check out the Saudi royal family's trillion dollar wealth. Before you bask in the extravagance you're about to see on screen, click on the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel to see more amazing videos. The man who controls the Saudi royal family is King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The $1.4 trillion wealth of the Saudi family isn't controlled by just one man, even though the reigning king of Saudi Arabia is Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the trillion dollar wealth is shared by the 15,000 member strong family, which draws its wealth mainly from the vast oil reserves that were found 75 years ago, making the nation and the royal family the trillionaire family it is today. <laughs> The family earns a huge chunk of the profits from the state-owned oil company Saudi Aramco. However, of late, Saudi Arabia is now diversifying with new ventures, such as setting up of a $500 billion economic zone called the Neom, while King Abdullah's city is already underway. King Salman is now the most important man in Saudi Arabia. King Salman is the most influential member of the Royal House of Saud and the present King of Saudi Arabia. The House of Saud dates back to the 1700s and has been earning millions every second. Before becoming king, Prince Salman was educated in a private school meant only for the princes of the Saudi family. He has also served the government in various capacities, rising from the post of governor to deputy prime minister and prime minister till he was finally crowned king in 2015. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has long suffered from terrorism. Today, King Salman's personal fortune is estimated to be $17 billion. Most of his duties, however, are being overseen by his son, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, 32, who is said to be the real power behind the throne. A lavish lifestyle more than any royal family could afford. Like their British counterparts, the members of the Saudi family live a lavish lifestyle complete with palaces, real estate properties, private jets, helicopters, sprawling chateaus, luxury yachts and a palatial estate that is even decked with gold furniture and a gold-plated Kleenex dispenser. What can be commended, however, is the family's donations to charity and investments in the Saudi people, including millions to a bank fund for female entrepreneurs. The royal family owns several palaces. When you're a family worth a trillion, then you're obviously going to want to live in a palatial home that reeks of wealth. The Saudi royal family has done just that, owning several palaces across Saudi Arabia, including two in Riyadh, one of which is the sprawling Al Yamama Palace. That is the official residence of King Salman and his family. The palace oozes with opulence and luxury at every turn and twist and makes Buckingham Palace, or Versailles, look modest in comparison. The multi-million dollar palace is built in traditional Arabic design with arched windows and geometric motifs, stunning chandeliers, rich carpets, ornate antiques and gold accents abound. The intricate carved ceiling and Italian marble floors further highlight the dazzle of the lavish interiors. It is said that even the trash cans are made from silver and it is hard to miss the gilded gold in almost every corner of the palace. The Erga Palace for dignitaries and state events. Equally splendid are the king's other two palaces in Riyadh, the Al Orja Palace and the Erga Palace, where he spends his time often. It was at the Erga Palace that the king entertained President Barack Obama. who paid a state visit after the prince was declared king in 2015. Obviously, Obama must have been floored with the luxury that may have made the White House pale in comparison. 
It was hard not to notice the gilded gold Kleenex dispenser placed on the table between the two leaders who were seen sitting on golden chairs. The Royal State Palace in Jeddah Among the King's palaces, it is the Royal State Palace in Jeddah that has been hailed by the architectural critics as a marvel and work of art. Designed by renowned Japanese architect Kenzo Tang and completed in 1980, it is a completely modernistic structure, nothing like the traditional properties of the royal family. The main hall, especially, even resembles a deluxe airport terminal with a huge vaulted ceiling and marble flooring with oversized glass windows. But if the Royal State Palace is a fancy one, the crown jewel is perhaps the 32-room Maraba Palace in Riyadh, built for King Abdulaziz in the late 40s, which now serves as a museum. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's French Chateau but if the palaces are the fancy of the king, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, known as MBS, is on another level when it comes to spending wealth. Just 34, the Crown Prince splurged $300 million for the French Chateau Louis XIV in France that was listed by Fortune magazine as the world's most expensive home. The 50,000 square foot chateau is even more luxurious than King Louis or Marie Antoinette could have imagined. It has 10 bedrooms, both indoor and outdoor pools, a cinema hall, an exquisite wine cellar, and even a transparent underwater chamber. The chateau is surrounded by a moat lined with colored lights, where a remote control can select lighting and also control the height of the water. The underwater chamber serves as a meditation room of sorts, offering a rejuvenating view of koi fish and sturgeons swimming around. There is also a huge infinity pool and a deluxe jacuzzi for further relaxation. A painting worth more than a palace. As if that wasn't an expensive buy, the prince purchased a painting that equaled the price of the chateau. In 2017, MBS bought the famous Leonardo da Vinci painting Salvatore Mundi, also called Jesus Christ, buying it by proxy at an auction for a staggering $450.3 million. When criticized for his lavish spending, the prince said, I'm a rich person and not a poor person. I'm not Gandhi or Mandela. The uh, crime was uh, really painful to all Saudis. I'm a member of the ruling family that existed for hundreds of years before the founding of Saudi Arabia. He owns one of the largest super yachts in the world. Let's not forget the prince's stately yacht, Serene, that is often listed as among the largest or most expensive super yachts in the world. The prince purchased the Serene from Russian billionaire Yuri Scheffler for $605 million. King Salman also owns his own yacht, the Tuek, purchased for $110 million in 2002. The royal family also owns the official royal yacht of Saudi Arabia, Prince Abdulaziz, that is also valued for the same amount of $100 million. Prince Salman has also been trying to purchase English Premier League football club Newcastle United after he failed to purchase Manchester United. However, his efforts have been stalled by several human rights groups after the murder of Saudi dissident Jamal Khashoggi. Le Chateau de Lumière, Great Falls, USA If the elder brother can splurge, then will the younger brother be far behind? King Salman's younger son, Prince Khalid bin Salman, was appointed Saudi ambassador to the US a few years back and also wanted a chateau for himself. But would you find a chateau in the USA? You most certainly will, and the prince zeroed in on Le Chateau de Lumière in Great Falls, America. The palatial home is close to Washington, D.C. and was purchased at a cost of $12 million when he was just a student in Georgetown University, but it is still a far cry from the whopping amount paid by his elder brother for the chateau in France. The chateau has eight master suite bedrooms, in numerous reception rooms and lounges, including 13 bathrooms. It features fixtures and furnishings fit for a prince of his stature, such as antique sofas, crystal chandeliers, and gold-plated statues. The chateau also features a spa, cinema, card room, and a basketball court, and the outdoors have a cabana, Corinthian columns, and fire bowls. Prince Khalid owns his own jet. 
A house isn't the only thing the young ambassador spends his family's wealth on. The Crown Prince charters his own Boeing 767 for a cool $30,000 an hour. The plane features 1,066 square feet spacious cabins with seats that recline all the way back and a bedroom with twin full-sized king beds. The plane has been customized for entertainment with a Wi-Fi, an iPod, an iPad docking station, six portable DVD players with screens and seven television screens. Saudi Arabia is the world's biggest arms buyer. Saudi Arabia spends a lot of its wealth on purchasing arms and is currently the world's largest military spender in the Middle East. It imports sophisticated arms and ordnance into the country worth billions of dollars. The country has also entered into a coalition with the UAE, spending almost $67.6 billion in 2018 to launch a military campaign in restoring the Yemeni government ousted by Houthi rebels. In fact, King Salman's first official act was to pass an order to bomb Yemen after the royal family of Yemen was ousted and chased away by the Houthi rebels. Saudi Arabia's hand in the war in Yemen has irked several human rights activists who feel the country is responsible for the displacement and death of hundreds of thousands of people because of the use of cluster bombs on the country. Till date, over 100,000 people have been killed in the civil war in Yemen, including civilians killed by Saudi airstrikes. So, there you have it. Besides owning palaces, jets and yachts, the family splurge on investments around the world to make more money, making the term filthy rich an understatement. If you liked this video, subscribe to this channel and check out the next video, which will wow you.